brought the wrong bike to the US. Trail over here. Road over there. Lucky. Pedal, pedal. I'm back on the road now. If you saw a couple of videos ago, I talked about why I wanted to bring this bike. I wonder if it was a mistake. They've got road construction here too. Very, uh, feels like the Philippines. Oops. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. My mistake. Uh, I may have brought the wrong bike to this US trip. Let me explain. So if you caught my preparation video for this trip going to the US, one of the things that I did was I explained why I brought my Canyon in flight. The short of it is I was expecting to bike in roads like this. Like all the time. And don't get me wrong, the roads are great. And if you know where to go, no cars. Look. But I still find myself going on off-road adventures. Like the time I bit off more than I could chew. The scenery just keeps getting better and better. Fortunately, I'm still climbing. Like the time I decided to explore this slight detour. Or like whenever there's a road in front of me but I have the option to hit a dirt off-road section, I always take the dirt off-road section. just something about going off-road that I love man and no matter what I do like like that was supposed to be that was supposed to be a road ride like purely a road ride but once I saw that gravel section I couldn't help myself like I even forgot about the time when I so that was a proper mountain bike territory ride and I think if I brought my surly midnight special with the suspension fork the thicker tires I probably could have gone through that trail just fine we're going out in a bit, but before we go out, I'd like to thank this video sponsor, Nutrition Depot. Over the last few months, Nutrition Depot has been sending me some endurance sports supplements, and I've found them very useful. My favorite sports supplement is this 
New Trend ISO drinks. It's basically a carb drink with electrolytes and you mix it with your water and it can fuel your rides. This is my favorite way of fueling my day-to-day -day rides. When I go out on a ride, ideally I want to eat like something or take a gel or something every 30 minutes and sometimes during the rides I just forget and depending on the ride, if it's a high intensity ride or if it's a really long endurance ride, it can make me suffer after the ride. So sometimes after rides I have headaches and so I make sure to have a carb drink with me. That way I'm fueling my rides and this Nutrient ISO drinks really helps with that. So that's Nutrition Depot. They're a great source for your sports supplement. Any type of uh, supplement you might need, maybe protein, carbohydrates, electrolytes, and all sorts of things. You can check their website at nutritiondepot.com.ph. They've got everything you could possibly need. Thank you, Nutrition Depot, for sponsoring the vlog. Can you turn what? On your data? The data? Or? Are you recording? Look, this is not a good angle. So where are we going? Mm, Palo Alto. You know, I heard Palo Alto is a very nice place to go cycling. Is it? Yes. It's a very expensive neighborhood too. It is pretty expensive. The okay. nice places to go cycling are expensive, like Los Gatos. Are they? Oh, the rich people are. So this is a potential um, black hole. Where are we? Ikea. What are we doing here? Let's be very specific. We're going to look at three things. A shelf and um, drawers and a chair. Okay, three, three things. It's not what we're looking for. It is not what we are looking for. What? What are we doing? We're gonna need the, the or organizer cart thingy. Put the diapers. And... We have one. Yeah, it's white. Kid stuff. Yes. I'm gonna be steps downer in this shopping excursion. What? What? I don't like shopping with you. It's, <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> I need a raw raw. Listen, where are my axe of friends? Uh, and oh, enablers. You need an enabler. Enablers, yeah. I am surprised by how big IKEA is. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. What? We managed to escape IKEA with a few small purchases. All under 20 bucks! So you love IKEA. So yeah, let me know in the comments what kind of uh, terrain that you like to ride in. And I really think for me, I am very biased towards going off-road and I think if I were to do this, if I were to bring the bike again, I think I would probably stick with the bigger tires or just bring the Surly, which has the bigger tires and the suspension fork and all of the technology for going off-road. How about you, Steph? Do you have anything to uh, add to that? 